Hey guys, so it is like ridiculously bright out here. I'm not sure why I decided to record a Q&A right here. But in any case, I'm gonna record a Q&A right here, so uh, let's get started. I'm gonna try to give more serious answers today. So we'll start with, what camera do you use? This one. Next question. Have you ever gotten a ZZ skip? Well, actually, ZZ is the whole method, like for solving the whole cube, so a ZZ skip would be just getting a solved cube, so there's like, I mean, I guess, sure, there have been times in competition where they have forgotten to like scramble it, so they just give me a solved cube under the cube cover, so I guess I have had a ZZ skip. However, moving on to the next question, what are the chances of an EOZZTTLLLL skip? Now that's more like it, I can answer that. One in ten. Who is your favorite cuber? Well, viewer. <laughs> You are my favorite cuber. Unless you're like my mom watching this or something, in which case you're not a cuber, but I, I mean, I still love you, so. What has been the most cringiest video you've uploaded? Well, I mean, if you go back and look at some of my old videos, most of them are pretty cringy, but it's kind of YouTube tradition to keep up all your old cringy videos, so I haven't taken any of them down. You can go ahead and go back and watch all you want. They're pretty awful. It's hard to choose which one is the most cringy because they're all Honestly, just really bad. Hey, Colorful Pockets, there's a typo in your name. Color is actually spelled as Color. Sincerely, the rest of the world. Hey, I, I only have one thing to say to you, and that is USA, USA, USA. I guess technically that was three things, but whatever. What was your first PB? I'm not exactly sure, but I assume it was something along the lines of like Jif Creamy. Um, that's what I usually have, so it was probably the first thing I had. I, I don't know. Do you think smaller cubes are better for OH? Yes, to a certain point. I mean, obviously a nano cube is not better for OH, but I think like 54 millimeters, if somebody made a 54 millimeter cube, that would be perfect. And it also depends on your hand size, of course. But for me, just somebody make a 54 millimeter cube, okay? I've recently switched to ZZ. Any tips for improving? Yes, yeah, several actually. So first of all, work on your EO a lot. You can just do a ton of solves where you just do EO only. Trying to find the most efficient EO solution is always tough at first. So what I actually did when I first started learning was I would actually find all my bad edges. I wouldn't go to sleep until I had figured out the most efficient way to solve them. And you can check, I think there are tools online where you can just put in a scramble and it tells you the most efficient way to solve an EO with a certain front. So yeah, that's what I would recommend. Just get really good at EO, and if you can get to the point where you can do EO consistently in the inspection time that you have, then you can actually get to the point where you can practice and practice like you would any other solve. It's so bright. It is so, it is, why am I recording out here? This is why I don't go outside, guys. How many cats can you fit in a tablespoon of a microwave? Let's go find out. Do you think newer methods like ZZ or ZZCT or older ones like Rue and Petrus even will experience a resurgence in the coming years? I, I don't think they will. Mostly because these methods have always been around and people have known that they're good for a long time. I mean, ZZCT of course is a newer method. ZZ is not a new method though. There has been some slight growth in like the Rue community and ZZCT of course is getting people to learn that, but I don't think enough people are sticking with it. What's more interesting right now in terms of new things people are learning is a lot more people are learning large ALG sets. Like there are so many people who are learning ZBLL now and that's really cool. I wish some of them would learn ZZCT because that's really just like a big ALG set, but you know, wh whatever. When is the next Worst Judge video? At some point, eventually, maybe. Can you make your cubicle.us transition consist only of puns? No. Speaking of the cubicle.us, have you heard that you can get 50% off any order there with the discount code POCKETS? That's not true. You can get 5% off any order there with the discount code POCKETS. And I suggest you do that because it supports me and the show and all that and it saves you money and it's a great deal. Anyway, go do that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Monday.